In this video, we're going to have a look at what happens when we multiply a vector by a scalar. A scalar is a quantity that has only a length, a vector has a length and a magnitude. So let's think about the vector u. The vector u is 2 minus 3. We've got that there. So the vector u is 2 along, 3 down. And we've got the arrow showing the direction that we've travelled. What would happen if we wanted to draw u plus u. Like in the past we've done u plus v, where we've attached v onto the end of u. So what we're essentially implying here is we need to attach another copy of u onto the end of this vector. And we should see we've got something like that here. I've got the exact same vector here, u, and I've attached another copy onto it. So this here, this, this line here is the vector u plus u. But we can do some work with this because we know that u plus u is 2u. Hopefully that's okay, we should know that. So we can get from here to here. So what we've got here is we have got the vector 2u. Let's have a look at the components of 2u. Uh, 2u, remember we always underline our vectors. So 2u is what is it? It's one, two, three, four along, one, two, three, four, five, six down. Two u is the vector four minus six. It's hopefully you can notice that two u is just double the both the components in the vector u. So if we wanted to work out two u, so if I know that u is 2 negative 3, then 2u, we would write as 2 lots of 2 negative 3. Okay, so this 2 here is a scalar. Okay, this 2 multiplies both the x and the y component in terms of the journey, and then that's how we can get to our final answer here. Okay, so essentially what's happening here is we've doubled, we've doubled the length of the journey. 2, 3 has become 4 minus 6. Uh, let's look at another one. Let's think about the vector a, which is minus 2, 2. 2 to the left, 2 up. If we wanted to work out the vector 3a, I'll get my pen. So the vector 3a is 3 lots of the vector a, and that 3 is a scalar because it scales up the vector. So if I multiply through, I should get minus six, six. Let's have a look. So there's a vector there for three A. It's three times as long as our vector A. Let's have a look. So let's check, let's check that this is minus six, six. So my journey's starting here. So we're gonna go One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to the left and six up. This is a vector 3a. It's still going in the same direction. It's just three times as big. Let's think about the vector b, which is 4, 3. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four along. One, two, three up. The vector minus 2b can be calculated as... Let's have a look. So it's minus 2b is minus two lots of the vector, which is b. So I'm going to multiply through, that's going to be minus eight, minus six. Let's have a look how that looks. Okay, so let's have a look at our vector b here. It's twice as long. Uh, let's have a look, so it's went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six down. Okay, so it's twice as long, but the most important thing here to note is that the arrow has changed direction because when we've got a negative, that means the journey goes in the opposite direction. Okay, you need to be really, really careful for that. Okay, so yes, it's been scaled up by a factor of two, it's twice as long, but that negative here, this negative, tells us that we're traveling in the other direction this time. Okay, we're going to bring all this together and start drawing some. We've got two examples to work through. 
Okay, so the diagram shows the vectors x and y. So we've got the vector x here, the vector y here. Draw a diagram to show 3x plus 2y, hence calculate the magnitude of the resultant force. Okay, so let's just have a look first at what we've got. We've got the vector x up here. And the vector x, which we can see is the vector 2 along 1 up. 2, 1. The vector y is 1 along 3 down. So that's 1 minus 3. So we want to draw 3x plus 2y. Okay, so 3x, I just do it here. 3x is going to be 3 times as big as this. So 3x is going to be 6, 3. And 2y is going to be 2 minus 6. Okay, so when we're starting to draw this, we are going to be drawing the vector 3x and the vector 2y. Okay, so we should have something like this here. So the vector 3x is 6 along 3 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. 2y two is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 minus 6. So we want to draw the diagram 3x plus 2y. That means I want to take my vector 2y and attach it onto the end of the vector 3x. Okay, so the vector 3x it finishes here. The vector 2y starts here. So I'm going to want to move the red point onto the green point. Something like that here. Okay, I've attached the start of 2y. I've attached the start of 2y here onto the end of 3x here. Okay, so I've got 3x followed by 2y. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we've drawn a line from the start of the journey to the end of the journey. We started here and we finished here. So our arrow had to go in this direction. And one thing I've missed here, uh, one thing that came up in the, uh, when you were handing in your assignments, make sure that if you're labelling it, it goes right next to the line that you've drawn. And always remember to underline those vectors. Okay, which I have not done throughout here. So make sure when you're drawing this, make sure you're always underlining your vectors. Okay, so what we've just done there is we have just drawn a diagram to illustrate to show 3x plus 2y. The last part is hence calculate the magnitude of the resultant vector. So if we have a look at 3x plus 2y, I've just went over a slide here. Well, what are the components of 3x plus 2y? Okay, so the journey started here. It has went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 along, 1, 2, 3 down. So this has components 8, negative 3. So if we want to calculate the magnitude of this, if we want to calculate the magnitude of 3x plus 2y, we're just going to use some Pythagoras. That's going to be 64 plus 9. And that's going to be the square root of 73. You can leave it at a third, or if you would like to, you could um, like evaluate this. I'm going to evaluate it. Square root of 73. Which is... 8.54. So that red line there has length of 8.54 units. Okay, that's the magnitude of the line. We could have checked this another way, um, because there's a way to check our answer here. Okay, and I'll just show you this way down here. Remember initially, the vector x was, it was 1, 2. And the vector y was 1 minus 3. Actually, the vector x was 2, 1, not 1, 2, it was 2, 1. Okay, so if I wanted to work out 3x plus 2y, 
we could just evaluate here in component form and what we get would get 6 3 plus 2 minus 6 which would give us 8 minus 3 which ties in exactly the same here as it does with our diagram that's a way for us to check okay so i'll just see this bit in here is a check okay we've got one final example we're just going to bring it all together and then you can have a go at some of these questions to try okay so we've still got the same vectors x and y this time we want to draw a diagram to show 4x minus y hence calculate the magnitude of the resultant vector so x is still the vector 2 1 y is still the vector 1 minus 3 so 4x the vector 4x which is the vector x multiplied by a scalar of 4 is going to be 4 times as long so what's that going to be 4 lots of 2 1 what's that 8 4 and the vector minus y is going to be the negative of this vector here so it's a negative of 1 minus 3 so that's going to be minus 1 3 hopefully you're noticing as well we've got a negative so that means the arrow is going to be switching direction here okay so here's 4x and here is minus y once again note 4x is four times as long as x minus y is going in the opposite direction to y so if i want to draw this vector here i'm going to need to attach minus y onto the end of 4x okay so importantly you need to attach the start of minus y onto the end of 4x so see if we have a look at this vector here minus y it starts here yeah because we're going in this direction therefore i'm going to want to attach that red point onto the end of my vector 4x which is there okay okay so i always want to put the start of the vector onto the end of the other vector okay so we should have something looking a little bit like this here so here's our vector for 4x and then i've attached this minus y onto the end of 4x so the journey started here and it finished here so i've drawn my vector in i started here I finished here so i've went in this direction i've got the arrow going that way and this is the vector of 4x minus y okay so that's us done part two where we have drawn it okay so let's just write down what that is in component form 4x minus y let's have a wee check so we've started here so we've went along one two three four five six seven and then we've went up one two three four five six seven okay our vector looks to be seven seven so if we want to work out the magnitude of this vector 4x minus y well that's going to be the square root of 7 squared plus 7 squared that's 49 plus 49 which is 98 that's the same as 49 times 2 which is root 49 root 2 which is 7 root 2 this has length 7 root 2 remember we've got our check as well to check that this bit up here is correct if we want to evaluate 4x minus y well that is going to be four lots of the vector 2 1 minus the vector 1 minus 3 so that's what 8 4 and then we've got minus 1 minus 3 8 minus 1 is 7 4 minus minus 3 is 7 okay so once again this check has managed to confirm what we found with our drawing okay hopefully that was helpful um, and you can get going with today's work thanks very much